With the coming time in anime medium, it's getting harder and harder to find good mystery thriller animes. Animation studios are also focusing on adapting anime related to some kawaii girls, romance or only action packed stories. Just like all the thriller fans out there, I used to spend days finding good thriller anime and when I used to find one with a good rating and reviews for it, it used to just disappoint me to one new level. I don't know why but maybe all of the anime fans out there right now are infected with covid I think. You know why? Because they all lost their sense of test. <laughs> Today we are gonna talk about an anime called as Kaiji Ultimate Warrior. Kaiji maybe is one of the genius animes that would really be consumed these days. There are no cute girls in Kaiji so please step out if you are looking for it. But honestly if you would skip you would miss a show that would hold your breath from beginning to the end. The unique style of storytelling in Kaiji is what really makes it suspenseful and gripping. Kaiji is a broke guy in his 20s who finds himself behind a massive debt due to some poor choices made during gambling and co-signing a loan for the less than reliable friend. He is therefore approached by some sort of loan shark with an opportunity to erase his large debt and again start his life fresh. Of course, there is a catch. What unfolds is a series of intense life or death gambles that will put you on the edge of the seat. And yeah, this is a lot different from Kakeguri, so don't compare this with that. One important thing to note in Kaiji is that this is not an uplifting story of redemption, not at all. Except just few victories when you watch this anime, it constantly seems that Kaiji ends up on the full ends of things. This helps make Kaiji even more unique with the community becoming saturated with overpowered harem animes. There are so many things that makes Kaiji so attractive. One of them is the gamble or we can see the game part of this anime. Kaiji must play this game to pay his loans. What they are playing is just a simple game just like Jankenpo. But simply it's not just a simple Jankenpo. Fukumoto, Kaiji's creator, makes it a serious and psychological game that you have ever seen. The game is clever and usually depends on psychology to win the games. And if you are thinking that game is hard to understand then don't worry, since they are really explaining it very well. It's just a simple game like junk and power or anything like that. But they have been modified a bit by Nobuyuki to make the game more interesting. Another fun part about Kaiji is guessing. This series really knows how to keep you on your toes and as you keep guessing as the stakes gets higher and the games becomes much more absurd. Like any mysteries and detective shows out there, we are usually trying to guess on what's gonna happen next or probably trying to solve what's the trick between it. Well, Kaiji is not a mystery or detective show but at least that's what I felt when I watched this show. The way Kaiji solves each game is really remarkable and unexpected. And another great thing about it was how logical the kaiji solutions was. Well, sometimes another series uses some illogical and unrealistic tricks but not in kaiji. They are all making sense and that is one part that makes kaiji so amazing. Let's be honest, kaiji can turn a lot of people off to its purely based a typical style of art. I personally didn't like it. But I was given a disclaimer by my friend prior to even starting this series that I have to learn to get past the art style if I want to truly enjoy this show. And again I'm gonna give you that disclaimer to you guys. After all Kaiji is not about flashy artwork or cutest character models. Actually you know I'm quite certain that there's only one female in the entire anime to look at. The environments and backgrounds are drawn nicely. The art is probably the most unique one. They use thick lines for the characters to make it look like the comic style and the character designs is very unique. Probably you can't find it anywhere else. The original style that Fukumoto the creator of the kaiji brings is probably hard to watch for some people who are not used to watching something extraordinary like this. But the comical style that kaiji uses brings out the advantage for themselves. Like it can increase the expressiveness of each character so we can feel the emotion within them. It's truly beautiful. Then there's sound. There is no other way to make kaiji more epic than the sound. The background songs or the soundtracks within every scene is really remarkable. They are fittingly well for every scene that occurs. Like when kaiji is in despair there is a sound that you would notice along the series. The sounds like that one I noticed before increases the despair atmosphere and thrilling in the audience. 
It's the song that forces us to feel the same way as the kaiji does. It is really astonishing because the music composer is Hideki Tanuichi, the one who is responsible for Death Note music. I have watched Death Note in about I think 2013 and I still have the Kira's theme as my ringtone. That's how I like the work of this guy. The opening song in this anime is also amazing. Mirai wa Bokura no Te no Naka that is played by Harukuya and fits really with the anime. If there was something that made me so addictive to this series, then it was the Kaiji and other characters. Kaiji is one of the best main characters out there, but he can also be the lamest main character of all time. There are too many ways to describe Kaiji. He can be a hero but a loser too. Loser in this term is how Kaiji sometimes follows his desires for gambling and ended up to have much debt but in the other way. When he was in the pinch, he could turn into a heroic character. Lastly, his cleverness and trickery made this story become more interesting to follow. Not just Kaiji, the other characters are also one of the aspects that makes Kaiji so amazing. Every character that appears in this anime isn't just for the side characters or side show. And the other characters act like what you would do in the real life if you would be in this pinch. I believe if we are in that position, we are choosing to escape by ourselves and abandon our friends. This question is for describing what the characters in Kaiji are. They would do anything for saving themselves. Betraying is one of the ways that they would do. There is no power of friendship just like any other shonen animes. The realistic thing that every character does makes this anime become more interesting to see. The cast of Kaiji is relatively small because the story revolves around the main character's thoughts and emotions. My favorite character is definitely Ito Kaiji because he is such an ordinary guy. If you have seen animes like Akagi or Death Note, you will realize how unrealistic their intelligence level of some characters can be. I mean I am myself a big fan of Death Note, I really enjoyed that show. But we all can agree to this fact that how realistic their intelligence level were in that anime. But in this case, Kaiji is just an average guy with dead end job and only becomes quick witted and devious through the games he is forced to play. His tricks and lies are never over the top and every possible variable failing into the right place. Kaiji screws up like everyone else but he has determination beyond any average person. I found myself cheering for Kaiji and wishing the best for him throughout the series. This in my opinion is the way you can tell if a character is very well developed and likeable. And at the end, Kaiji is a series for those who have a lengthy attention span and have a hard on for thrillers and suspenses. It's an anime that makes you think a little bit more, but that makes the series much more enjoyable. Don't watch Kaiji if you are expecting some brutal violence and adrenaline rushing fight scenes. It does have a few violent scenes here and there, but Kaiji is only enjoyable if you watch it from an intelligent perspective. Lastly, after all of this mumbling that I have said before, I can safely say that Kaiji is one of the anime that you should watch. Despite its lackness in mo and cute girls on it, Kaiji would bring you an amazing thriller story with just simple games. From that simple games, prepare for some intense scenes that would make you hold your breath from beginning to the end. Have you already watched Kaiji? If you have already watched this anime then let me know about your thoughts in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video just don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my youtube channel because I post daily anime content about top 10 top 5 listings, anime reviews like this one, news theories and all sorts of anime content on daily basis. So if you enjoyed please subscribe and that was it and I will see you in the next one. Sayonara.